What's good, YouTube? It's your man, Rage King, back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, I'd ask if you'll please get on there and hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that share button, hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Rumble Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Rage and Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe. And y'all, in today's video, I'm going to be discussing why I believe that NetherRealm Studios has not updated MK11, despite its being going on seven to eight months without an update. I'm going I'm to explain why I believe they haven't updated the game yet. Let's speak on it. Now, I know a lot of people come down and say, oh, well, the game is done. They've moved on. They've done this. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show, all right? And again, this is not something I definitely know. This is more speculation than anything, because at this point, that's all really people that don't work for NetherRealm Studios can do is speculate. But here's my speculation, all right? Now, MK11 has been out for two years. You understand what I'm saying? We just had a movie, though it was very fucking whack. We just had a movie that just released. You understand what I'm saying? So you would think with that would come skins, would come some kind of DLC, maybe for Cole Young, a.k.a. fake-ass Johnny Cage, when you could have just put Johnny Cage in there. But whatever. But the reason why I think they haven't updated the game is, none of, uh, at the end of the day, is, is because there's simply no need to. Will Rage King, what do you mean by that? There's no need to update MK11 because right now, what is their competition? What y'all going to do? Y'all going to go back and play Street Fighter V? Please, that's not going to last long. And that's no disrespect to Street Fighter, but you can pass Street Fighter to MK and tell me which one is more popular. Now, you can look at the demographic. You can look at the racial demographic. You can look at the, 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 the I don't know if this is even a term, but the continental demographic. You understand what I'm saying? The different parts of the world that play Street Fighter versus MK. You can look at that as a consideration, but I'm talking about as far as in the NA, the North American hemisphere the the western hemisphere the western world ain't nobody really finna be fucking with with street fighter like that now you got your few and far between that will and that's not to say street fighter is a bad game don't get me wrong but if you want to tell me which one of people would rather play right now street fighter 5 versus the newer game mk11 which has been out for two years versus the game that's been out for five or six you're gonna get mk11 each and every single time you're gonna get mk each and every time you know for the blood the gore the guts you know the the graphics because you can say what you want to in the areas where Street Fighter should have taken leaps and bounds, they haven't. To me, the reason why I've kind of strayed away from Street Fighter is simply because I feel like I'm playing the exact same game that was on Super Nintendo. Now, I know they've, uh, they've updated the graphics a bit. I know they've updated some characters a bit. But to be honest with you, I feel like I'm playing a, a, a remastered version of, of old school Street Fighter on current gen systems. And this time, I have to pay for characters that were already in the Super Nintendo version game. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that, that, that's what I'm not cool with. But you look at it, you're not going to go back and play Street Fighter Five. What else you going to do? You're going to run back and play Injustice on Injustice 2, also made by NetherRealm Studios. What you going to do? Get mad and go back and play MKX, also made by NetherRealm Studios. You see what I'm saying? There's really no need to update the game because, they have one, they have so many out right now, and two, there is no competition. The only thing that will probably push a, 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 a patch or, or, or DLC, in my opinion, for MK11, if it's not completely dead, is this game called Guilty Gear Strive. A fighting game everybody's been waiting on. Everybody has been waiting on. You know what I'm saying? Because it gives you, it, it, there's a skill gap. There's not all these shit ass mechanics that MK11 has. It's not all these broken ass fucking hitboxes. Frame data actually matters. It's, it's just an all around, at least from the beta from what I saw, it's just an all around better game. You understand? What I'm saying? It's an all around better game with better fighting mechanics. I should really say it's got better fighting mechanics. That's why it's looked at as a better game. You understand what I'm saying? So with that being said, the reason why I think MK11, MK11 hasn't had any updates is because there's simply no need to do so. What is the point of putting out an update or a patch or DLC right now when you don't know when Guilty or I don't know when Guilty Gear Strive is going to come out? Y'all let me know in the comment section when it's going to come out. I'm assuming it's coming out later this year. You understand what I'm saying? So why push all that content out if you're NetherRealm Studios? When I, I probably if they, if, they, if, they, if they haven't completely moved on yet, I would not be surprised at all if they already have that DLC patch and all the DLC. It would not surprise me if they, have, they already have that shit already done. You understand what I'm saying? But there's no reason to push it out right now when there's simply no competition. There's no competition right now. Guilty Gear Strive, when they do come back, they're going to push out yet another beta first before they actually release the game. You understand what I'm saying? And then why push all our content out and then be fresh out of ideas and people be just completely bored with our product when we can hold on to it? We can hold on to it for right now, wait for Guilty Gear Strive to push their shit out, and then look, a week or two before, a week or two later, we push our shit out, and we got everybody coming right back over here, or at least a good percentage of our fan base coming right back over here because we didn't update the game that we know needs to be updated, and we know for a fact people have been asking for updates and DLC on. 
But that's just my opinion. Y'all let me know down in the comment section what y'all think about why NRS has not or refuses to release a DLC patch or any kind of DLC for MK11. Y'all let me know if y'all agree with me or disagree with me. As long as you remain respectful, and I cannot push this enough, as long as you remain respectful and logical, we can have a conversation. But that's going to be the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed. It's been a pleasure making it for you. My name is Rage King. I am out, and I'll be back later on with more videos, more commentary, more good content. Now, hashtag that enough saying, before I go, before I go, the very next motherfucker that comes in my comment section and calls me a fucking old head, even though I am younger than 90% of the fucking rappers you listen to on the fucking radio. I'm 28 years old. I didn't know being in your 20s was a fucking old head. But the very next motherfucker that come in my comment section talking about I'm an old head, I will put you on fucking blast. I will dedicate an entire video putting your dumb ass on blast. Because you motherfuckers can't read, nor can you fucking count, apparently. But you're so much smarter than everybody else, though you don't know shit. All right? Don't get it fucking twisted. 28 years old is not fucking old head. That ain't even close to old head age, dumbass. If you live long, just because motherfuckers in your dumbass hood, so gangster, don't live, aren't smart enough to live to see 20 fucking five, don't mean that I'm a motherfucking old head because I was smart enough to get out the goddamn hood and live to see fucking 28 and will live to see at least another 28 years. All right? I'm out.